Hey, what's up guys? It's Grant here. Today, I got a hat on yet again because my hair looks crazy and it's bad. Today, yet again, I will be working on the Cybersecurity Home Lab project. This is part three of this project. More specifically, the tasks that I will be completing today include uh, setting up a user account on Active Directory, and then I'm going to be giving some sample group policy objects that relate to security that I found online just to understand the process about going to do that. And then I'm going to be configuring a Ubuntu desktop a workstation, setting that up, and also gonna be setting up another Windows Server 2016 with remote desktop services. That will be the RDP server. And I will be connecting both the Linux workstation and the RDP server to Active Directory. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by uh, first setting up a user account and applying some sample GPO settings. Okay, so the first thing I just did was set up and configure a new user. It's pretty easy to create a new user. All you have to do is go into the Active Directory Users and Computers tab, then go under the Users tab, add a new user, fill out the details. Then after that, you can use the computer that I connected to um, with Active Directory and I can sign in to that account through that computer that is connected to Active Directory. The next thing that I will be doing, locking down this account with some sample computer settings. I created a list of some sample group policy objects. I used an article about the top 10 uh, group policy settings that you can use for pre pre preventing security breaches. To configure our group policy objects, we are gonna go over to Tools, Group Policy Management Center. Now, when we're actually going to be act doing the, the configurations, we have to create a new group policy object. So I simply just right click here. You can do new and then you can do a group policy object. I named it, blah, blah, blah. In this sales GPO that I've created, I can set up different types of settings and configure different per permissions within this GPO and then apply it to the user I just created. I'm gonna go ahead and go through each of these uh, group policy settings. All right, so in my group policy management tab, I created my sales GPO, and then we have the group policy management editor. And here is where I just configured all of my little sample configurations. There was only 10 of them. So within each of these, you can configure certain settings and permissions based off of either the user or the computer account, depending on where it resides. Because this home lab is such a small scale, this doesn't really, really matter that much. But if we were to look at something like this in a big enterprise network, Imagine having to configure all of these GPOs and policies depending on where you're at. I mean, this is just one little subsection. This can get very complicated very quickly depending on how big your network is. And so Active Directory is extremely powerful. Basically, all I wanted to do was just do a little bit of configuration with some specific security permissions. The next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and set up a Ubuntu Linux desktop workstation in VMware. Here I have a clean install of Ubuntu Linux that I will be connecting. It's the desktop version. Uh, so now it's time to, in hopes, connect the Ubuntu desktop to Active Directory. I'll be following this article right here. Uh, we're going to be setting up the hostname DNS and hopefully connecting this to Active Directory. Right now, I am configuring the pluggable authentication module in the Linux terminal. And this just goes to show you how much of a script kitty I am. It took me about 15 minutes to, to uh, figure out how to select an option in this pluggable authentication module with the space bar. Oh, I'm such an idiot and a script kitty. Just goes to show you, I am. Not really helping out my credibility, but oh man. 
I have connected the Ubuntu desktop to Active Directory. As you can see here on my screen, I have the Ubuntu desktop here. I used the article from Computing for Geeks to make this happen, and we ran through two primary commands to make this happen. The first one was RealMD. RealMD allows you to configure network authentication and domain membership by discovering and then joining the Active Directory domain. To discover an Active Directory domain, all we had to do was do sudo realm discover and then the domain name. So my Active Directory domain is called lab.local. So I established that command. And once I could do that, I did realm dash dash join followed by the administrator account and password. And then we had SSSD, which is System Security Services Damien, um, which provides access to remote and local identity. The real MD, as I kind of did a little bit of research, relies on SSSD to actually configure and uh, provide the access between the AD domain controller and the uh, workstation. That is a success. I have connected that. The resources will be linked in an article below so that you can follow along. The next thing that I'm going to do is try to set up a Windows Server 2016 with remote desktop services installed. And then I'm going to connect this RDP server we will call to the AD DC or domain controller. I tried setting up the Windows Server 2016 with remote desktop services, but for some weird reason, couldn't figure out how to install remote PowerShell management. It was taking me hours and hours, so I decided to just go ahead and throw away the Windows Server and just move on to a Windows 10 Enterprise Edition and set up remote desktop protocol there. It's not the same thing, but yeah, that's what I did. I connected the Windows 10 Enterprise machine to the local domain controller. I went ahead and enabled RDP services, which is pretty easy on Windows 10 Enterprise. To test, I just simply used the default remote desktop connection program to connect to the Windows uh, or this machine. So we're good here, as you can see right there. Windows RDP, we are in this machine right here. All right, so that is it for today's video. It was interesting to connect the uh, Linux machine to the DC as well as set up an RDB client, which was pretty easy. And then I went ahead of also, as you could tell, I configured some GPO, uh, some sample GPO. Of course, that'd be huge, but overall it was, it was a good little uh, part here. I know that this project hasn't been um, very much network security focused yet. The next part, we will be getting into the network security components. So until the next time, have a good day.